So we head out to the library once a week, or we try to, every so often, we get there every couple of weeks. We end up with about 30 books each time we go, because I usually have a bunch of books that go along with a unit study or a themed study or a holiday that I place on hold, and then I find some while I'm there, and then I let the kids each choose, you know, six or eight books on their own. So we end up with a ton. Um, and every so often, there are a couple books, <clears throat> excuse me, with each library trip that really stick out to me, and I will continue to um, renew them throughout the month. So I'm going to show you what those were for the month of February. And I figured every month I'll show you some of our favorite library finds. And if you have any that you are really enjoying this month, then leave the title in the comments below, and everybody will have a chance to get some new library inspiration. So first was this, Good Morning to You, Valentine. This was a really cute book of just different Valentine's poems. But I mean, they were all love themed, but some of them were just so, so cute. One, one of them my daughter ended up memorizing. It was a Shel Silverstein poem. They were just super cute. So I'm really enjoying these assorted poetry books. Next is this Poetry by Heart, and I'm actually heading back to the library right now, and I'm going to renew this again. These are just a child's book of poems to remember, and I will show you. They're split up into different categories, and they're really fun, the different categories. Let's see where I... So we've got Short and Sharp, Fur and Feathers, Stuff and Nonsense, Uplifting and Brave, Ghostly and Ghastly, Love and Friendship, Wistful and Thoughtful, Peace and Quiet, Long and Lingering. So they're all just different types of poems. So depending on what my kids are feeling for their poetry tea time or what they're wanting to read on their own, there's a bunch of different options there. And then the rest of these that we ended up keeping for the month are all books that have to do with bedtime. So I love bedtime stories. Any books that are kind of peaceful and calming for, especially to read with my boys. I have a book that I read with my daughter throughout the year. Um, it's, uh, some bedtime stories that her and I read together. But any books that can be kind of read with a soft voice that will cause drowsiness. <laughs> so this Snowman at Night, this was a big favorite of theirs this month. This is just basically the story of these what snowmen do at night and why when why in the morning when they wake up, why their smiles are crooked. My kids really enjoyed this book here. Time for bed. This was a super sweet one because my son, my younger son is all about animal babies right now. And so these are all the different um mother animals and their baby animals going to sleep. So that was a big hit here. I really, really liked this one. Time to sleep is similar. It's just one animal telling the other it's time to sleep and it's like, oh, well, see, but first I must tell Skunk. And so they go tell Skunk and and then it's like, oh, but first I must tell Turtle. And the illustrations are very warm colors, and so it's a very calming book as well. The next one, When Sheep Sleep, it's, it goes off the idea of counting sheep. And if there are no sheep to count, then count this animal and that, that animal. So it's, you know, count deer in the forest, count cows in the meadow. Um, there was one that was like rabbit hutches, rabbits in their hutches. That was a big... Oh, here it is. Yeah, rabbits and hutches instead of the sheep. So that was a, a fan favorite around Dream here. Train. I ended up purchasing this one because we have had this one probably for two months now. This is awesome. It's a, you can, again, read it in a calm voice. It's a longer story. It's one that takes, you know, it doesn't just take two minutes to get through. But the kids love the illustrations. They saw something new every time throughout the book. And it's a really sweet little story. This was a very enjoyable book for my boys and I enjoyed it as well. I, I ended up checking it out or I ended up choosing to read it at bedtime a few times to them. Um, they each pick a book and then I pick a book so this was on my recurring list. Um, this is all about how the, um, the trucks shut down at the end of the day and get ready for sleep so 
He cuts his engine, slows his drum, dreams sweet dreams of twirly fun. And then it, it always says good night, cement mixer, good night, or good night, dump truck, good night. So this was like really, this is the one that I think one of the reasons I love this so much is that I, my boys were literally shutting their eyes as I was reading the story each time. And last but not least, the Sea of Sleep. I rented, or rented, I checked this one out in October, and then I checked it out again in December, and then I checked it out again in February and I. So the illustrations, I think, are what I love so much about this book. They're just very peaceful. Again, um, we do live in Florida, so my kids respond well to stories about the ocean or the beach. So it's very, um, it's just beautiful illustrations. Definitely illustrations that make you want to sleep. Anyway, so those were some of our favorite books this month from the library. Uh, like I said earlier, if you have any books that your family really enjoyed finding, any new finds this month, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I would love some library inspiration. I'm sure others would as well.